Hey guys, my name is Tethan Asnuri and today we are going to review the Hyper ROM version 6 for the Galaxy S3 i9300 and first of all when you boot up you might get this notification that the super user binary needs to be updated and I made a video about it earlier and link to that video will be in the description so first of all let's jump into the settings and the phone gets a little bit uh, laggy here and there uh, but not too biggy uh, so first of all when we, when we go into the settings we get this real time CPU and this shows the CPU stats real time so we are going to turn that off and you also get the hyper tools which is like the application appearance and all so you can customize your phone with these settings you have the lock screen settings you have the lock up widgets assurance you have the background color and all and you have many settings you also have the ASP based lock screen and you also have LED configuration you have the toast and you have the toast settings you have the power menu you have the display notices you have buttons and all buttons physical buttons and you can also have the virtual buttons in this room like there's a virtual button on the top right corner of the screen that turns off the screen and let's get out of it you also have the application full screen settings and you have the clock modes and you have NS and HP I don't know what that is so these are the virtual button settings I guess and other settings as well you have the note toolbox from the Samsung you have the edge screen settings and you also have the auto starts you can turn off the applications that auto start by itself so we're just gonna turn off the briefing and you also have the greenify you have the wiper for android you have the smart manager you have to uh, select these three in the installer and you have the ot updater and we're gonna ignore that and go back and you have the connection settings here you have the global roaming settings and you have the normal sound setting, display setting, lock screen settings and you have signature you have pattern, pin, password and the signature is something new and let's get out of it and you have unlock effects you have quite a bit of them and let's check the geometric and So, you also have the charging effect which I personally don't use and let's get out of it and you have the torch settings, you have the themes from the Samsung store I guess yeah and you have the festival effects as well which I don't use you have the multi window settings, you have the LED indicator, you have the notification panel settings you have the one handed operation and this is the one hand operation, let's turn it off and you have the account settings, you have the easy mode which turns your phone into a really easy layout and you have the accessibility settings, you have the vision settings you can turn on the dark screen which is not working you have the magnification gestures and you have the color adjustments which just crashes your application and you have the negative colors and you also have the hearing and always turn on the flash notifications let's turn that on and you have the these settings as well here and you have the user settings you have the blocking mode you have the private mode which doesn't perfectly work so what it does is you can put in a pattern for the private mode and turn it on which is not working right now let's get out of it and you can put more files into it as a private mode you have the battery settings you can have the power saving mode you can restrict the background data you have the restrict performance as well and and you also have the grayscale mode so let's turn it off you also have the ultra power saving mode 
which saves a lot of battery. Let's turn that on and let's turn up the brightness. So as you can see it is showing the estimated max standby time, you, you have the battery percentage, you have uh, apps over here, you can add more apps here as well and by using the UPSM manager and let's get out of it. And it also comes with the fast charging, which I don't, which I don't think works. And I think that's it. And you have the safety assistance as well. You have the storage settings. You have the security. You have the developer options. And you also have the about device. And as you can see, the ROM in ROM name is HyperROM, and the ROM version is 6.0. And as you can see, Android version is 4.4.4. And let's get out of it. And let's get into applications. And it also comes with the application manager, the permission manager. You can change the permissions given to the apps, and you also have the default applications. You have application settings, and let's get into applications now. And this is the phone app, and it is a bit like the S6. It is themed like the S6, and the hide button works as the back button. Let's get out of it. You have the messages. You have the internet app. Like the S6. And the contacts icon is not showing over here. And you have the camera. It is just like the S6 one. And you also have the video mode here. You have the settings which you can change according to your needs and you have the effects here as well and you have the modes you have flash settings and you also have the selfie camera and let's get out of it and you have the music app which is not like the S7 or the S6 and you have the video app from the Samsung as well and you have the clock app which is a little bit different from the S6 or the S7 one and it is themed like the S6 S7 and you have the calendar app which looks just like the S planner but it is a little bit different so you have already seen the settings you have the my file app which is once again theme like the S6 and the S7 but not quite the similar and you have also had the downloads you have the greenify which you have to choose in the installer you have the hyper tools you have the logs right over on the application drawer and you have the memo app as well and you have the radio app and you have the tethering and mobile hotspot once again in the app drawer you have the UPSM manager and you have also have the wiper for Android which you have to choose in the installer as well and there's the people search of course and as you use the ROM it gets more and more fluent and so the ROM is pretty stable and is, the ROM does come with the briefing and it is quite fluidic as well and it runs fast as compared to other ROMs so you also have the wallpapers from here as well you have the widgets and you have the home screen settings you can change the transition effect you can on off the briefing and let's turn it to 3d rotation you have themes here as well so now it is like the 3d rotation so and i think that's it thanks for watching guys